This is the kingdom, man. This is the kingdom. This is the royal palace for the Kabaka of Baganda. Can you imagine, man? The Kabaka is our identity. Yes. It's all we have. And it's like, it, this is now a blood. King we Freddy's car. Ara Ara for the Rose Race. Oh. And when the palace was attacked, most of the king's cars were looted and driven wow. by the top men of wow. his government. You, you know the king? Yeah, I know. Can we be allowed to go see the king? Or is it not possible? It's very possible. Yeah? It's very, very possible. Ah, king. yeah. You cannot. My name is Mtala The Voice. So today we are in Bunganda Kingdom. And before you enter here, there is some amount you need to pay. Uh, it is 10,000 Uganda shillings. When you convert to dollar, it's close to $3. So there is rich history about the Buganda Kingdom. So that's where the palace is. Can you see the palace of the Buganda Kingdom? So we are headed there. So let me show you. Look at that, man. That's the palace, man. The famous uh, Buganda Kingdom. So. The gentleman in the middle is the one guiding us today and the two of them are my cousin from on my left that is uh, Lawrence on uh, on my right Lawrence on my left this side that is uh, JB and then he's the guide Wherever you go, wow. so now this is the palace Wow, and why are we having these? Uh, are they bamboos or something? These are reeds. The last reeds. time the Kabaka was here, yeah, they were celebrating uh, 60 years, yes, 68 years, 68 years. And then he said, I, uh, this time I'm tired of concrete, yeah, I think I need something traditional. Traditional, so now we are coming up with this traditional fence. Wow, the reeds come from. Oh, so these were the original traditional, yes, this is ah. how they used to do it. Ah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Wow. I want to ask, huh? mm -hmm. this is a, with its function and the politics and the organization. How is is the kingdom organized in a way that where basically that do, do you collect your revenues from mm -hmm. to support the the, the, the the functions or the works of the of the kingdom? It's the national government, it's the central government that collects taxes. But uh, here you find that most of the land belongs to the Kabaka and leases it out. Okay. Uh, the Kabaka has got a wide range of schools, uh, right from kindergarten to universities, hmm. and they can tap revenue. Hmm. Uh, he has radio stations and TV stations, the best listened, I mean, radio stations and uh, TV stations in the country. Yeah. Uh, they belong to the Kabaka. Uh, uh, he has other areas like uh, the tourism mm. uh, sites, uh, I mean, like you have paid and this will go in the kingdom's treasury. Yeah. Um, then people, at times we buy certificates. Mm. These are small, small papers that we buy and pin in our homes mm. or we frame them. Like, like when me, you're marrying a me and my, woman. Yeah, <laughs> me and my family, we have wow. supported the kingdom with this much. Wow. And we see bigger organizations, we see bigger companies buying these certificates. Wow. If it's hotel, then they will get many people. Wow. And uh, because they support the kingdom, yeah. we see Coca Cola. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to a birthday run, the Kabaka birthday run, we have about 200,000 people uh, participating in this run. Yeah. And we buy kits and then the money will go in the kingdom's treasures. Wow. So it is a kingdom with a budget of uh, 8 million US and a budget million. which is uh, not a poor kingdom. Uh, the Kabaka much. hits more than 14 uh, million Baganda. We are the largest million. That's a lot tribe people. in the country. Wow. So, uh, it's not a problem. Makes a lot of sense. Now, wow. the largest. Yeah, it, is the, it is the largest. The largest. With 14 million. People. Now, and Uganda is going 14 one thing one very, million. One thing very interesting is this. Um, there is a following that Bagandans give to the kingdom with so much passion. We have friends who are Baganda. There is men old and young. But all of them start by the word Kabaka. You know, there's that kind of passionate, you know, following. What 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 does it mean to them? What does this mean to them? As in, there's a way you can talk to somebody and he's so passionate about his kingdom, about his tribe, you know. So what what is this that the kingdom does to the Bagandas that inspires them to be of that kind of a following? Is there something special yeah. that Bag? Yeah. I would say uh, the Kabaka is our identity. Yes. It's all we have. And it's like it, this is now a blood, you know? 
to love the Kapaka. And we take him to be the, the lion of Buganda Kingdom. So we are born like that. When you look at our clans, we have that clan system. And then the clans have got clan chiefs. But again, you'll find that the Kabaka is the head of all the 56 clans. Wow. So whatever we do, we end up with the Kabaka. Wow, it makes a lot of sense. The kingdom issues, there is no politics. Okay. So now, it is exactly a one mile strip. Oh. And King Fred got land. He saw the Royal Mile, he came back with this idea. We have oh. got two roundabouts in the mile. And the first roundabout is down in the middle of the road. Oh. You can see where the cars are crossing. Yes. Those two towers. Yeah. And the second roundabout is on this palace compound where we have the stones before the main uh, gate. Yeah. And only the Kabaka can drive straight through these roundabouts. So that is respect we give to the Kabaka. We say he's always straight and whatever he says, he has no corners. No one wow. else is just straight. <laughs> wow, 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 very wow. Symbolic. That is so symbolic. Pictures, yeah. then, <laughs> then, okay. Can I, can I like move up to there, then come like this? Is it? Wow. Man, so this is the kingdom, man. This is the kingdom. This is the royal palace for the Kabaka of Baganda. Can you imagine, man? This is humongous, man. This is so humongous, man. So, um, I'm told the Kabakas normally uh, come here during the birthday celebration and something like that. And this place, look at how amazing, man, it looks, man. So the inspiration of this, uh, um, this kingdom, back then we used to have, you know, uh, grass touched, you know. But the inspiration came from London, actually. So uh, they came, that is the British Kingdom, no? Uh, United Kingdom, that is. So that is where the inspiration of this uh, palace came from. So the Kabaka normally comes here for the birthday celebrations and those cultural events. It's so amazing, man. It's so amazing, so amazing to see here. And you know, this was not the first kingdom to be, you know, uh, to be to be to be constructed here we used to have a building by kabaka mwanga then after kabaka mwanga we had kabaka uh, daudi chua for those who did history uh, especially in east african country know something about that so the current kabaka is called kabaka uh, mutebi muenda the second who is currently the kabaka of this place man just imagine man just imagine man wow Beautiful, beautiful to see this. Can you see all these lawns, how beautiful they are, man? I know, and this place is built on a hill. That's why you can feel even the sunshine here. Looking amazing. You feel, can you feel what I'm feeling right now? Pure, pure splendor, pure royalty here in the Buganda Kingdom, man. I feel, man, I feel these, you know, this is how, you know, Africans were, you know, they were organized. You know, the British sometimes think that, you know, Africans were not organized, but that is not true. That's not true. Africans were organized since time immemorial. Can you imagine that? They were organized, setting up kingdom, uh, you know, having chiefs, you know, the Kabakas had his own, like, council, chiefs, or let's say it's parliament, and, the, you know, there is something about uh, the Kabakas. Let me explain something. When you are a Kabaka, actually, um, a Kabaka has got his own council. And being a Kabaka, actually, is not a guarantee. You know, a firstborn child or the elder son cannot be a Kabaka. Normally, the secondborn or your new goal lawyer, simply because the elder son is actually considered as, as the head of the family. Do you get that logic? So the firstborn son cannot be a king. And it's not a guarantee that, you know, uh, those sons, you know, uh, the second born son will be a king. It is up to the council or the chiefs who will decide the one to be the king after the king has died. So, man, beautiful culture, man, beautiful culture. Can you imagine? This is a palace, man, the Buganda palace. This is the gate now entering the, you know, uh, the kingdom. This is the palace. You know, so I want you to realize something interesting about this palace. It's actually on top of the hill. So the reason is that yeah, it is a strategic place. Not that it is not like it's just constructed for that uh, sake. It is strategic to be constructed on this hill. So when going this street, what you see there, roundabout, is only the king who is allowed the kabaka. Kabaka is a king. So the king is only one who is allowed to go straight like that. Can you see? Simply because 
uh, it has been given that you know uh, how can I put it like his things are considered to be straight and you know straightforward so that's why the respect of it has been made so that he goes straight doesn't need to go round and round about can you imagine that so the kabak also uh, is a symbol of you know uh, is the lion of the kingdom that's why I think they have got this lion statues here so he is the lion of the kingdom man that's so beautiful so there is this thing I want to explain this because um, um, so uh, they're having this reeds. Do you know the reason why they're having this? This is a traditional way of how things used to be. This uh, was the traditional, um, the traditional wall back then. That's why you've got steel reeds like this. Amazing! Wow! Look at this, man! Amazing! 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 So this is the entrance. When you see how we're entering now we entering the kingdom like that so that's all about the kingdom man i really really love this baganda kingdom man they've got a very rich history man what a lovely moment to be here in uganda kampala watching this palace you now entering there and hearing the beautiful history about this place these guys were ahead of time these guys were real heroes man wow man you should come and visit it. It's just here in Uganda, East Africa, Africa, man. If you're watching for the first time, my name is Mtah The Voice. I do travel videos, man. I do travel vlogs. And I'm here in Uganda. I never knew it was this beautiful. I never, actually, that is true. I never knew it was this beautiful. But I am amazed. Totally amazed. I don't want to, to be left behind. This place is beautiful, actually. Very beautiful. Oh. Wow. that... Uh... You see the perimeter, and uh, after going round it is 4.2 kilometers. The ring road. It's very huge within the city center. Uh, some of the remains of King Freddy's cars. The king had a diamond. King King Freddy's. Uh, he had a Cadillac, and the Daimler sits on the Cadillac frame. You can see the chassis. Mm. He also had a Rolls Royce just oh. behind. We wow. have this. King Queen Freddy's car. R R for the Rolls Royce. Oh. And when the palace was attacked, most of the king's cars were looted and driven wow. by the top men of Bote's government. Wow. The Cadillac and the Rolls Royce of Bote's men used tractors to vandalize them mm. after they buried them. And this we have were unearthed. So the Daimler, it was at the Uganda Museum and we claimed it in 2012. Wow. So it has been here for the last um, 10, 11 years. Mm. Maybe for... Okay, maybe if you can you remind that uh, King Fredis is the king of Buganda. He was the uh, number. Yeah, he's uh, Edward Frederick George William David yeah. Tessa II. Okay. Uh, in most books, they write King Freddy. And then in Uganda, we call him Sir Edward Mutesa II, who was Sir the first Edward president of Uganda. He was the first, and you he know. He was the last Kabaka to stay in this palace. He was the last Kabaka to stay in this palace. Yes. Wow. Wow, wow, I showed wow. you this in the picture. Yeah, it's yeah, the sure, sure, the sure. Kabaka. The name was so see, long. See, for, for I think what we are taught in school, yeah. they don't, they normally don't use uh, in Kenya. They normally don't use the Christian names. Oh. Like oh. Mutesa the yeah. second. I know Kabaka Mutesa one. I know mm. Kabaka, Kabaka Luanga, Mwanga, 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 Mwanga. except Daudi Chua. Yeah, Daudi Chua and Kabaka Mutesa two. Yeah, like those, that. those um, one, only those. But now when you use the Christian names, mm. like Sir Edward, yeah, Kabaka yeah, yeah, he has got a long one. Yeah, it's wow. because the British educated him yeah, wow. in Cambridge University. Oh. Now the other houses are for the royal guards. Okay. I mean the government provides security okay. to the Kabaka. Yeah. And they give the Kabaka many soldiers. Okay. Uh, these people have got families. Yeah. And many more other houses on the other side. Okay. But of course their houses they are in a bad shape compared to the palace. Okay. And uh, very soon the kingdom plans to refurbish. Okay. Houses so that everyone is happy. Wow. Wow. Wow, man. So this is King, this King Fritz, King Fritz uh, Rolls Royce. And wow, man. Amazing. So we are moving somewhere. History doesn't die off. Instead, it heals. Oh. It, uh, it grows. Yeah. And every after eight months, there is a new bug. Wow. The first one is a bit hard, starting from the second. The material, 
when burnt, it repels mosquitoes. And when countrymen die, their bodies were brought to it. There is a way it burns, it purifies the body. It even worked as money. And in 2005, UNESCO had declared backcloth an intangible heritage then revitalized its production. Wow. And today we export it to Germany. You know, people in Germany, they make car cushions. They sit covers in the Mercedes Benz. No. They even um, make shoes and belts. Mm. In Israel, they make formadite. It's a preservative. Mm. So it is an amazing process to see a bark of a tree transforming into a piece of cloth mm. after eight hours of pounding. Sadly, its consumers may not be able to know the process and the history mm. they hold in their hands, but this is something special. Mm. Wow. Maybe let's go and take a look at it. This is from here. Mm. Wow. The Mugumo tree. Yes, the Mugumo tree. In Kenya, mm. had it's a sacred tree. It is sacred it's by the Gikwe community. Right. So, what is it called in English? In English, it's a fig tree. Fig tree. Uh, this is African fig, and the species African is Ficus natalensis. Oh. Ficus natalensis. Wow. So, so in the place out there, Ficus. You have seedlings as well. It has. Uh, yeah, it has tiny figs in the tree, but this is not a season. Maybe on the other one. Mm. Okay. Yes, Where you yeah. can pluck and plant? No, we plant only the stems. Mm -hmm. There you just you get a straight stem. But, it, but it, plant it. It, it, okay. in uh, it is also at home. Like uh, you can find it home. Like uh, okay, different different communities have got different names of it. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And in Uganda we call it Motuba. Motuba. Wow. Wow. So we're going inside. Okay, thank you. Wow. So, we get something like this when it is wet. Then we bring it here. And the, these are the tools. Usually we start with the one with the bigger groups. Yeah. That one. Okay. And then we come to this. This is the last one with tiny groups. Mm. So it expands when you do that. Mm -hmm. Wow. And they are usually four mallets. And how do so they know the oldest? for at least two hours. Two, every after two hours you have to change. You wow. switch to another. Where did they get this, this skill? How did they know that it is going to expand? Now, people from the Ota clan, yeah. this is their main duty. They invented the back cloth. So the 56 clans, each clan it has a special duty in the palace. Wow. Now people from the Ota, at least they produce this material for the Kabak. Ota, the river Ota. Ota. Plan. Yeah, river, no yeah. It's a spot-necked Ota. Mm. Wow. And there are usually three Otas. Mm. Mm -hmm. But uh, that is one of the clan symbols in Buganda Kingdom. Wow. Some are plants, and if it is edible, remember... It's a very be... smart animal. Mm. It disturbs mm. me a lot mm. on the Nile with the fish. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it uses its uh, teeth to yes. catch fish. It's yes. fun like. Or yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. A very smart one, I know. Like a good uh, swimmer. Uh, even me, I'm a painter. Mm. And apart from talking, I try to paint on this material. You mm. see my wow. name on the material. Okay. Mm. I sign for it. Wow. And, uh, so we beautiful. Are, we, are, we are five people. Mm. Everyone paints. Okay. So different artists and different, you know. Um, I choose yeah. on that. Oh. They are easy to carry because the buyers are travelers. Oh. We don't frame, we roll. Yeah. We just roll like. Then we put on a piece of paper. Yeah. When you get home, you turn on the back okay. and the iron. Yeah. When Someone press, can really confuse yeah. it with leather when you yeah. see it from a distance. And, uh, okay. oh. It is something one takes home when it's a hundred percent sure. Okay. Uh, from Uganda. Wow. What's wow. now? So I have this side on the wall, then my friends. Oh. Mm. So, they, so like an art like this one, how much is it? Now, like uh, people, like uh, the friends from Kenya and Ugandans, they buy this at least for 40,000. 40,000? Mm. But oh. in Muzungu, it's small. Mm. Mm. Wow.
and they are eco-friendly. I mean, like the tree, like I said, it comes back. Mm -hmm. Forty thousand is how much Kenyan shillings? Mm, that's about one thousand. No, no, one thousand. One thousand. One. Around one thousand three hundred or yeah, around that. Yeah, they are about. Oh. I want to buy one art made from the Mugomo tree. I love art actually because I'm an artist too, so I love art. So I want to buy one. Want to buy one. So I'm looking for, you know, I'm just trying to have a variety of it so that I can choose from it. Man. I love it, I love it, I love it. You know, it's all made in Africa, man. Made in Uganda, in the Buganda Kingdom, man. Wow. So. I'm picking so, this one, the dance. The dance is wow. traditional dance. Wow. wow. So I'll pick this one. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow, there's a lot of art. You can come and buy one here. There's so many, there are a range of them. And they shall, it's going to give you, you know, the definitions of what it means, you know. Amazing. But it's wrapping it up very nicely so, just take the whatever so this one make. this one i'm going to put in my house i'm going to frame it in the you know <laughs> yeah i know where to put it i know where exactly it's going to fit wow 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 coming from buganda kingdom here so we are inside the kingdom actually amazing 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 wow 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 i really appreciate it. thank you so much welcome yeah Wow. We signed a memorandum of understanding with the central government okay. that issues pertaining security shall always be handled by the central government. Wow. And then that the Kabaka shall never participate in any partisan politics. Okay. And this is how it works. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. So the family actually lives, so of the guards live here, man. That's so amazing. That's so amazing. Wow. Buganda Kingdom. So, most of the servants and the UPDF members who guard the kingdom actually live uh, here. So we are going to that other side of the kingdom, man. Wow, wow, wow. So, Buganda kingdom, man. Amazing. So, I've been told uh, there is a budget of which they are, they are trying to improve the standards of living of people here. And uh, this shall be renovated, I think so, very soon. All these, man in the Buganda Kingdom. So this is where the staff used to live, this side, this side, like this. Now the kingdom is right there. The palace is right there. Can you see the fence? Wow. And this was the Rolls Royce for the king. Just imagine. Wow. I've forgotten the name of uh, that car. It was for king, but we have got the remains also. Some parts of the Rolls Royce held several cars that were vandalized by Milton Obote. Now, that's it, let's go. Totally amazed, totally amazed. Watch my next video because I'm going to show you something amazing, something fabulous. My name is Nutala The Voice. Have a good time.